So here we have a bunch of imports, which you can see quite clearly that I've run. Now we're importing modules and packages. A module is a file and a package is a directory that may contain files and or other directories, right? And in these files are various classes and functions that we can take from these files and use in our program. And it saves us from having to copy and paste or make our own files and classes where we don't need to, right? It saves us a lot of time. Thing is, not everyone has these packages and sometimes you want new packages or modules. So how do you install them? Let's say you don't have pandas and you want to install it, right? Well, in Anaconda, you just go into Anaconda Navigator. I'm base root as my environment. And I press left click on this arrow here for the environment that I'm in, which is currently base root. I open a terminal. I put in the command pip install pandas. Right, type that in. It says the requirements already satisfied. That's because I already have pandas. If I want to update pandas, because I already have it, I can actually put dash dash upgrade and then pandas. I'm not going to press enter here because I'm not base user, so it'll just delete pandas and mess my system up temporarily. And we can also uninstall a package or a uh, module by using the uninstall keyword there. I'm pretty sure I can use conda install pandas here. I'm not, I'm not entirely, I can't remember entirely. Yeah, it will allow me to conda install, but I'm not going to let it run because it might take forever. It's very complicated. Anyway, those are the ways that we could do it with the Anaconda Navigator if we wanted to. There you go. It's installed in there. But not everyone has Anaconda Navigator. Not everyone can use conda install, which is a better way to uh, install a package, by the way. So I'm just going to get rid of this because I don't want to reinstall something I already have. Don't want to update it. Not interested at all. What I do want to do, however, is show you how to do this in CMD in Windows, right? So if I look for CMD, command prompt in Windows, well, I can get Anaconda command prompt, I can get all sorts. Let's say that I want to pip install. Okay, so I pip install pandas. Excellent. What? Pip is not recognized. What's this? You're wondering. Well, the thing is, Pip is actually uh, like an executable file uh, made by P Python that allows you to put packages in different places and modules in different places, which is all managed by your Python installation, whether it's vanilla Python, Anaconda, or Jupyter Notebooks. But if you use command prompt, um, you're not actually, when you say pip, that file might not be in the user directory. So I actually have to find the directory um, that I want to go to. So here, I've already got the directory that my scripts are in. There's actually, whatever you first installed, whatever you installed your um, Python into, will have a scripts folder. And within this scripts folder, there will actually be a pip application. There it is, pip application there. And that's what we want to access. In order to access this with CMD, and I'd imagine with Linux or Mac, you'd have a similar command prompt thing. You, oops, you have to copy and paste this. And we use CD, which takes us to a directory. And we want to get ourselves to here, right? Now that we're in here, we can use pip install, we can say pandas, right? Yeah, 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 it's already satisfied, got loads of problems, blah, blah, blah. Not interested, just showing that you can use it. You can also use the uninstall, you can use the install upgrade method and all that. Now, if this is giving you problems, the reason is because your path hasn't been set, right? And a way to set a path is by using set x path and then you use this here da, da, da. percentage path percentage and then you use whatever your directory is so my directory would have been c user slash user anaconda blah 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 slash scripts that would be my directory and that's what i put here after the semicolon 
and then I'd close that off here, I believe, and that would set me a file path. There are other ways to set file paths, uh, like with configuration managers in Windows or, you know, whatever thing. Um, but just be aware of that. I'm not going to go into too much detail. And the reason I'm not going to go into too much detail with this is because there are many problems you can get when managing modules and packages and paths, which aren't really anything to do with Python specifically. It will take me a long time to get into and... The very specific problems specific to several OS's, specific to several setups, so I'm going to leave it at that. But anyway, that's how you would install new packages, and update them or uninstall them as you go. So if you've got an import statement and the import didn't work, now you know how to uh, install a package and make it work. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.